At first, there was a limitlessly thick mass of issue. This mass went through a blast that led to the development of iotas, atoms, stars, and universes that we can notice today. For many years, this has been the clarification presented by physicists. Anyway, later research has presented a new viewpoint that recommends the universe doesn't have as early a beginning as at first accepted. Rather, it very well might be part of a recurrent cycle in which the universe goes through a progression of cycles of expansion and compression, potentially in a limitless circle. Brian Cox, a prestigious physicist, feels a little skeptical about the theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation, contending that something can't emerge from nothing. This scrutinizing adds a captivating component to the conversation. What's more, research from the James Webb Telescope has uncovered data that goes against the possibility that the huge explosion marked unquestionably the start of the universe. This prompts the key question. If the huge explosion was not the start of the universe, then what was? Join us on this journey to the beginnings of the universe, where we will explore the wildernesses of the Big Bang and answer this inquiry and more. Assuming you are keen on keeping up to date with news about the universe and its environmental factors, buy into our channel, hit the like button, share this video to contact more individuals, and turn on the notification bell. Researchers have fostered a detailed understanding of the universe in its earliest stages, known as the theory of how things came to be. According to this model, the universe was a lot more modest, hotter, and denser than it is today, around 13.8 billion years ago. During that period, every one of the components that make up our reality were formed in a matter of minutes. In this hypothesis, our universe, including stars and galaxies, was once pretty much as small as a peach and had a very high temperature of over a quadrillion degrees. Strangely, this shocking account aligns reliably with all current observations. Astronomers have explored everything from the remainder of electromagnetic radiation of the early universe to the overflow of the lightest components and have found that everything concurs with the forecasts of the Big Bang. To the best of our information, this depiction fits the reality of our universe impeccably. Anyway, regardless of its evident vigor, we know that the theory of how things came to be isn't the complete picture. There's a missing part of this riddle, and that part is an understanding of the primary moments of the universe. This challenge is due in large part to the limitations of the physical hypotheses we currently use. The blend of general relativity and high-energy particle physics furnishes us with a significant reasonable framework. However, as we dive further into the underlying moments of the universe, the mathematical complexity increases, fundamentally arriving at a place where our current methods can't provide significant solutions. One sign of this trouble is the presence of a peculiarity a point of limitless thickness toward the start of the Big Bang. This idea suggests, in a literal sense, that the universe was once compacted into a vastly small and thick state, which seems absurd. To address this challenge, we need to explore new frontiers in physics, develop a methodology that overcomes these limitations, and provides a more complete understanding of the first moments of the universe. Our current tools and theoretical systems are not strong enough to address this test, so we need to develop new physics that can incorporate and explain gravity and the other fundamental forces at extremely high energy. This is precisely where string theory comes into the picture. This theory tries to be a physical model capable of bringing together gravity with the other key forces, particularly at ultra-high energies. Essentially, string theory claims that it can provide an explanation for the first moments of the universe. Within string theory emerges the idea of an aeon, which takes its name from the Greek word meaning setup or age. This thought proposes that the Big Bang, as far as we might be concerned, was the consequence of a prior event, inferring that it was not indisputably the start, but maybe a piece of a continuous cycle. Expanding the thought of an ionic universe has led to the development of a related theory called cyclic cosmology. Although the possibility of a cyclic universe has been considered for centuries, String theory provides a strong mathematical foundation for this concept. In the framework of cyclic cosmology, the universe functions as though it endlessly wavers between big bangs and collapses in a perpetual cycle that expands endlessly into the past and future. This hypothesis of cyclic cosmology was proposed by the famous physicist Roger Penrose, who was awarded the Nobel Prize. Penrose was interested in a noteworthy mathematical relationship between the early universe described by extreme density, heat, and smallness during the Big Bang, and the future state of the universe, 
which is described as incredibly cold, extended, and without matter. The theory suggests that these two states become mathematically indistinguishable when pushed to their limits. Although it might seem confounding, the complete absence of matter could be the driving force behind the creation of all the matter we see in the universe. From this perspective, the Big Bang starts from what remains nearly vaguely after all the matter in the universe has been consumed by black holes that ultimately vanish into dispersed photons in an immense void. The universe rises out of what, from another perspective, essentially approaches nothingness. Although this nothingness is still a form of something, an actual universe, though a vacant one, the secret lies in how the same state can be interpreted as both a cold, void universe and a dense universe, depending on the perspective. The key to this understanding lies in a complex mathematical technique called the conformal transformation, which is a mathematical change that alters the size of an object while keeping its shape. Roger Penrose showed that the cold void state and the hot, dense state can be connected through the scale transformation, adjusting their space-time designs regardless of their differences in size. However, Penrose contends that the concept of time loses its meaning under these extreme conditions. In cyclic cosmology, the sequence of events evolves from an old, cold state to a young, hot state. The presence of the hot, dense state is the result of the past cold and void state. However, this causal relationship doesn't follow the standard notion of time, because in these extreme states, both size and time lose their traditional meanings. The cold, void state and the hot, dense state exist on discrete timelines, meaning that from the perspective of an observer within its own time period, the cold, empty state would go on forever. Physics and philosophy are interwoven in this realm of cyclic cosmology, as it provides speculative and detailed explanations for the beginnings of these cycles. However, regardless of whether Penrose's ideas gain support in cosmological advances, a deeper philosophical question still looms about the origin of physical reality itself. How did these cycles come into existence? This leads us to contemplate the justification for the existence of something rather than nothing, which is one of the primary spiritual inquiries. For our purposes of discussion, we will focus on explanations within the domain of physics, and there are three possible outcomes to consider in investigating the origins of these cycles. First, there might be no apparent reason at all. Second, there could be an endless series of cycles where each cycle represents a different universe, and the initial quantum state of each universe is, in some way, determined by some part of the preceding universe. Lastly, there is the possibility of a single cycle in a repeating universe, where the start of the cycle is explained by some feature of its own end. These possibilities are appealing because they avoid the need for uncaused events and provide a more intricate explanation within the physical framework. In the realm of physics, Penrose proposes the idea of a perpetual succession of cycles influenced by his interpretation of quantum mechanics. In quantum mechanics, a physical system exists in different states simultaneously until it is observed, at which point it randomly falls into a single state. Penrose suggests that each cycle is influenced by random quantum events that give rise to variations between cycles. This idea opens up promising possibilities for experimental physicists, as it suggests the possibility of identifying subtle traces or anomalies in the residual radiation of the Big Bang. The quest to understand the origins and nature of the universe has been a central pursuit of human curiosity and scientific inquiry for centuries. From ancient philosophical hypotheses to modern cosmological speculations, humankind has continuously sought to unravel the mysteries of existence itself. In the context of contemporary astronomy and cosmology, the investigation of cosmic origins has led to significant discoveries and captivating theoretical frameworks that challenge our fundamental understanding of time, space, and matter. One of the enduring questions that has fascinated physicists and cosmologists alike is the nature of the universe prior to the Big Bang. While the Big Bang theory has provided a compelling explanation for the development of the universe from a hot, dense state to its current vast structure, it leaves open the question of what came before this cosmic event if anything. The concept of a pre-Big Bang era raises profound philosophical and scientific implications, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding. Several theoretical frameworks have been proposed to address this question, each offering unique insights and perspectives on the early universe. One such idea is that of the multiverse, which posits the existence of an immense collection of universes, 
each with its own distinct physical properties and fundamental constants. In the multiverse framework, our universe is just one among many, each emerging from different initial conditions and governed by its own set of physical laws. The possibility of a multiverse arises naturally from certain interpretations of quantum mechanics and cosmological inflation theory. According to inflationary cosmology, the rapid, dramatic expansion of space-time in the early universe may have led to the creation of pocket universes within a larger multiversal landscape. Each pocket universe would have its own unique properties, shaped by random quantum fluctuations during the inflationary epoch. While the multiverse hypothesis remains speculative and difficult to test, directly it provides a compelling solution to the fine-tuning problem in cosmology. The apparent improbability that the fundamental constants of nature are precisely tuned to allow the existence of complex structures, such as galaxies, stars, and life itself. Another intriguing idea that challenges conventional notions of cosmic origins is that of eternal inflation, proposed within the framework of inflationary cosmology. Eternal inflation suggests that the universe undergoes an infinite cycle of inflationary stages, each leading to new regions of space-time with potentially different physical laws. In this scenario, our familiar universe is just one of countless regions within an eternally expanding cosmic foam. The concept of eternal inflation raises profound questions about the nature of time and causality in the multiverse. If inflationary bubbles produce new universes endlessly, the idea of a specific beginning or ultimate origin becomes increasingly elusive. Instead, the universe appears as a dynamic, ever-expanding entity embedded within a larger cosmic fabric of inflationary growth. In recent years, advancements in theoretical physics have also sparked interest in alternative cosmological models that challenge the conventional narrative of cosmic beginnings. For example, some theorists have explored the possibility of a cyclic universe, where the Big Bang is not a singular event, but rather one phase in an endless cycle of astronomical growth and collapse. According to cyclic cosmology, the universe goes through successive cycles of creation, expansion, and destruction, each culminating in a cosmic breakdown followed by a new Big Bang. The cyclic universe hypothesis draws inspiration from ancient cosmological ideas and modern theoretical frameworks, such as string theory. In the context of string theory, which posits that fundamental particles are not point-like objects but rather tiny vibrating strings of energy, the concept of a cyclic universe naturally arises from certain solutions of the theory. String theory suggests that the universe might exist in a higher-dimensional space-time, where patterns of expansion and contraction are a natural result of the interplay between fundamental forces. While the cyclic universe theory remains speculative and faces significant challenges in terms of observational evidence and theoretical consistency, it represents a bold attempt to reconcile quantum mechanics with general relativity on cosmological scales by proposing a continuous pattern of cosmic renewal. Observational cosmology has also provided crucial insights into the early universe and its evolution over cosmic time. The discovery of the cosmic microwave background, CMB, radiation in the mid-20th century provided compelling evidence for the Big Bang Theory offering a snapshot of the universe when it was only 380,000 years old. Detailed measurements of the CMB by satellites like the Planck Observatory have enabled scientists to map variations in temperature and density across the early universe with remarkable precision. Furthermore, observational cosmology has shed light on the large-scale structure of the universe, revealing the intricate web of galaxies, clusters, and massive fibers that span billions of light years. By studying the distribution of galaxies and measuring their redshifts, astronomers have been able to trace the expansion history of the universe and estimate its age, composition, and fate. One of the most remarkable discoveries in observational cosmology is the existence of dark energy, a mysterious form of energy that permeates the universe and is driving its accelerated expansion. First detected from supernova observations in the late 1990s, Dark energy comprises roughly 68% of the total energy density of the universe, making it the dominant component of the cosmic energy budget. The existence of dark energy poses a significant challenge to our current understanding of fundamental physics, as its origin and nature remain poorly understood. Some theories suggest that dark energy may be a manifestation of the vacuum energy predicted by quantum field theory, while others propose modifications to Einstein's theory of general relativity to account for the observed acceleration of the universe. 
In alignment with observational efforts, experimental physicists are actively searching for new particles and interactions that could provide clues to the fundamental nature of dark energy. Moreover, advancements in astrophysical instrumentation have enabled scientists to explore the universe across various frequencies of the electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves to gamma rays. Observatories like the Atacama Large Millimeter Slash Submillimeter Array, ALMA, and the Hubble Space Telescope have revolutionized our understanding of star formation, galaxy evolution, and the cosmic distribution of dark matter. Looking forward, the upcoming generation of observatories, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and the Square Kilometer Array, SKA, promises to unlock new insights into the early universe and its fundamental constituents. These cutting-edge instruments will enable scientists to study the first galaxies, test the theory of reionization, and search for traces of primordial gravitational waves left over from the Big Bang. In conclusion, the quest to comprehend the origins of the universe represents one of the greatest intellectual challenges of our time. From ancient legend and philosophical inquiry to modern scientific theories and observational discoveries, Humanity's exploration of cosmic beginnings has yielded profound insights into the nature of reality itself. As we continue to push the boundaries of knowledge and exploration, new theoretical frameworks, observational techniques, and experimental breakthroughs will undoubtedly shed light on the deepest mysteries of existence and our place in the universe.